Welcome back for my final daily report market video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech on Thursday, 18th of July, looking at gold. And gold had an, uh, another run high yesterday. It had this consolidation over the past week or so. It was drifting back towards 1400 and interestingly enough, basically to, to the tick, uh, got 1400 big figure as the low and then rallied sharply yesterday into the close closing pretty much at the all um, at the day high but also interestingly enough 1426 is the daily close yesterday was higher than the close that we got on the day that um, gold peaked at uh, multi-year highs so we're seeing multi-year high close yesterday on gold really does suggest that the bulls are back in control now the reaction today has been a little bit disappointing, you could argue, but certainly the fact that um, gold was strongly higher yesterday in a, a break to two-week highs, uh, certainly on an in intraday basis, um, really does put the bulls back into the driving seat. You've got this little mini downtrend that we've breached, and you've seen a, a, a move today, this morning, back towards near-term breakout point of uh, 1419. Um, where it'll be interesting to see if, um, I mean, to be honest, you've got a basis of support of all this, uh, of these peaks between uh, Monday and Tuesday, between sort of 14.16 and 14.19. If that starts to hold as a basis of support, then I think that the market will be looking fairly positive again. You've seen a little bit of an unwinding drift lower today. It, it is a tendency for gold to just have these strong bull candles and then just drift off again. So. If the market can hold above this sort of 14 area, 14, 19 area into the close and then start to develop again further positive moves tomorrow, then I think that could still be considered to be quite a strong move on gold, eyeing up the test of the 1439 reaction high that we saw back in June. And um, it will be uh, certainly positive given the fact that we've got the, the RSI holding onto the 60 area, the MACD lines, are they beginning to bottom out? The stochastics certainly look to be sort of turning higher. So the, the uh, outlook for gold remains pretty positive within this range. Um, and uh, holding above 1400 was key to that yesterday. Also, obviously, the 23.6% FIB level. But now it's a possibility of looking towards the highs again. And uh, that will be key. So uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading. I point to you towards the subscribe button here where you, you can subscribe to my YouTube videos. And uh, you can go to our website and join um, in with our trading webinars. And I will speak to you later.